morning guys today we're outside Oeno station and we are on our way to Ameyoko uh, market which is um, in the past just after World War II in Japan it was where the black market was so come along and let's see how it goes when you see this giant arch then you know you're here Ameyoko One thing that we have found is this wide variety of nuts over here. They have nuts and they have dried fruit from all over the world. And what's really nice is that these are really nice big um, bags. Of, so it's a great size and they're very cheap by Jap uh, Japanese prices. So that will be really, really good. We're going to see if we can taste some. Oishi. Super oishi. Guys, I would definitely come here if you like dried fruit. That is for sure. Guys, you wouldn't believe what we just found. The Kit Kat stand and we've got Happy Easter flavor Kit Kat. We've got raspberry Kit Kat, raspberry flavor. Obviously dark chocolate, but that's a bit boring in Japan because you also get sweet potato and green tea and strawberry cheesecake and um, rum and raisin and the best one I'm gonna buy it right now sake flavored Kit Kat to come to for skadja or um, as we know them to be satin baseball jackets which often have Japanese um, traditional patterns um, on them and um, so if you need one of those this is a good place to come to. Market. We've saved the best for last and we've come to a chocolate stand and this place is amazing because you only pay a thousand yen but then and you can get so many wonderful things but then part of it is that he just adds a whole lot of extra treats and you still only pay a thousand yen so it's all part of the performance but it's a lot of fun so let's see what we can get. Okay, so here's my okay, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at all of our snacks and our treats and they're all chocolates. What a win. Thank you. So we're back from the Ameyako market and it was absolutely amazing. It was very interesting to see just exactly what we found along the streets. Um, I loved the, the fish markets um, and the warmth of the people were amazing. I found the chocolate man very, very interesting and very friendly. And my personal highlight was the Kit Kat stand. So yes, you should definitely come and see what there is to see at Ameyako markets.